As everybody knows, I'm a huge fan of ephemera, and my favorite subset of that category is anything having to do with World War II. I particularly love the 1940s posters that were promoting everything that was happening and trying to keep the home front, understanding that they had to fight the fight here as well as the fight that was going on there. Hey, it's an oxymoron, and I'm not talking about Shirley Temple. Poor Little Rich Girl, great movie, great music, and great ephemera. I'm here in a booth that's surrounding me with the best in sheet music, books, maps, cool things that are just dying to be put in a frame and hung on a wall. I'm always interested in World War II posters that promote buying war bonds. Because the truth is, World War II was awfully expensive. And everybody at home was incentivized to do their part. Whether it was doing without, rationing goods, or buying war bonds, where they could literally give money to the government, and then they would get back a bond. This poster has it all going on. The artwork is fantastic, and it's telling you everything that you need to know. It's 1942. Now, buyer beware. A lot of these things were reproduced, but you can tell that this one is original. How? I'll give you one easy way, without even taking it out of the frame. These were folded and mailed to stores and banks and other institutions, and you can see the crease lines right along here. And they go right like that. And that helps you to understand, along with a little tiny bit of discoloration, that you're buying the real thing. If you want to be the big man on campus and a cut above the rest in your dorm, get yourself a vintage poster. This one of Bob Marley is psychedelia at its finest. And this one really ties in what made this country great. You got 1778 to 1943. These guys are fighting for our rights, and these guys are fighting for our rights. There's a certain tactile nature about flea marketing that you really can't replicate online. It's kind of like dating. You can date online, you can talk to somebody online, but when you get together, there might not be that chemistry. That's why I still go to flea markets. I didn't come here looking for a World War II propaganda poster, but I might leave with one because I fell in love. It's history, it's movie magic, Casablanca, who doesn't love Casablanca? The famous song, As Time Goes By. Put this in a frame for somebody who loves the movie, who loves bogey, and you just bought this for five bucks, you spend another 10 on a frame, and you spent $15 on a gift that will never be forgotten.